Hey guys, how's it going? Mark Mester speaking from Smart Brain Academy. Now in today's video, I want to do something um, yeah, different than the other videos. I want to uh, shoot something like a tutorial for you. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do proper uh, social media pictures. Because I can see it everywhere on YouTube, for example. Um, people have thumbnails and those thumbnails are not really good because they don't fit the proper size or something like that. The same goes with, I don't know, with um, uh, pictures for, for Facebook, for example, or even pictures for your blog. It's important to have really good pictures. Not really good, but good pictures. I mean, a good picture will always stand out. So I show you what I use. I mean, it's not maybe not the best in the world. I don't know. But I use it every day in this site and it's it's going to give me really good results. Now, the site is called Canva and um, I guess you probably heard from this site. I heard it like a long time ago and then I used it once and I thought oh it's more oh, it's not really good and it's too complicated but when you get something like like uh, yeah when you get how the side really works then it's it's not that complicated it's actually quite easy and nice to do now we are here on the side it's like the dashboard and you can see I made already a lot of pictures and I do uh, normally pictures for my Instagram account uh, account and uh, YouTube thumbnails you can see that one is a YouTube thumbnail YouTube thumbnail YouTube thumbnail and all the other ones YouTube thumbnail YouTube oops um, all the other ones are for my Instagram account and you can see it's actually a uh, quite easy to do good pictures good quotes and uh, to make them unique to make them your way okay you can see it's like it goes on and on and on i guess i made already a couple of hundreds now how to do it first of all i'm going to show you how to do an instagram uh, pic and maybe it was too fast for you. You have different options here, create a design, and then you have different designs, like for a Facebook cover, Facebook post, poster, Pinterest graphic, um, presentation, magazine, album cover, even infographics, and you can also do like, uh, where is it, uh, YouTube thumbnail, something like a uh, header for eBooks, and so on, and so on, and so on. And even, yeah, you can see, different options uh, banner option options here but we want to do uh, the instagram post because it's a proper size it's uh, 1080 by 1080 and uh, here we go okay and then you have uh, different options here you have layouts elements text background and uploads and uh, here you can see different layouts you can see those ones are for free other ones you have to pay i guess it's uh, one dollar when you want to have um the background picture it's just the background picture okay you pay for the background picture and uh, what we do best here is you have seen i do a lot of uh, of oops different quotes and um yeah i just show you how to do a quote and um, it's actually you can choose a background here you have different backgrounds you can see they're all for free or you have to pay one dollar or you can choose uh, like the colors here or you can make a custom color and actually i want to go with with a black background here you also can do some uploads you can see i uploaded already uh, a couple of pictures here if you don't know where to get pictures i can show you a really nice site it's called uh, pixabay i get almost all my pictures from here it's now in german but actually the site is in english as well i don't know where i can switch it language here english okay and then you have like uh, almost 600,000 free photos 
and um, yeah i don't know let's see what we don't want to do i have a, a quote here because this one is really nice and then you can have like text put in the text in here you can see you have some like different samples you can use those ones and I mean they are going on and on and on and on and on and on but what we want to do it's something like okay let's choose a background I'm going with a black one it's always nice you see the color switching to white and then can paste your your quote and then choose which kind of uh, writing you want to want to choose uh, which kind of uh, fonts and uh, i guess this one would be nice with hmm Maybe it's this one. Yeah, looks not bad. Looks not bad at all. And then you can change how big it should be, the writing. Whoa. What's that? Okay. I mean, you have to try it out. Like I said, when I used Canva the first time, it was... Uh, quite hard for me as well but now I got the hang with it and I guess we do something like that looks already nice if you ask me you can align it center it and then you have different options here you can choose a color or you can choose like should be starting on the left center right um, then you can choose the text spacing it's also nice it's a letter spacing here I mean it's not working but this one it's better the line height can do really really nice things I mean you also could could use um, um, different text in here like this one paste it in here use something different like I don't know schoolable make it bigger That's too big. Something like that. I mean, you're getting the idea. I mean, you can, can do actually everything you want, okay? And with here, with the different elements, you have uh, like frames, grids shapes i don't know it's, it's that much you can put in there some lines look at that and then you can uh, change the color of the lines it looks instantly better when you do that stuff like that i mean it's it's really 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 easy to make really good pictures with uh, with uh, canva and it's it's like i said it's not that hard and uh, also when you f when you want to uh, choose a, a different background you have also like pictures you can search um, pictures here but most of the time you have to pay one dollar or like i said you can uh, search pixabay and let's see Mm, which picture we can use actually strength maybe we can use strength 
something like that. Let's see, yes. Hmm. I mean, you could use this one. Looks nice. Just have a look around. I'm going to use this one. Download, just download. And then go back in there. Uh, where is it? Shame. Just drop it in there. You can see it's going over there. Then put it in there. I mean, then you can adjust the size, put it in the back. And then, like, play around a little bit. Can do it like that. This a little bit smaller to the right. Another color, bang, maybe red. Maybe yellow, well, red would be. I mean, just to show you what it's possible, it's not looking good now, but actually you can do really nice pictures. Like I said, that's just an example, but look at that. I mean, those pictures, they're looking really, really good. I mean, you can do those pictures like in, in five minutes when you train a bit, when you get uh, used to it, then you can do them pretty much in five minutes. Now the same goes with, um, with YouTube thumbnails. I use this for YouTube thumbnails as well. And uh, like I showed you already, let's see. Um, those thumbnails, they're standing out because they are not just like the normal thing. You can see, you can use all those thumbnails. And here, for example, just let, uh, let use this one. You can implement your text here, just anything you want to say. And then, for example, you want to have a custom background on upload and I'm going to use uh, this one and just track it in here and you see it's already the right size and then you can see uh, make it a bit smaller easy like that and it's already looking good. Or you can use different layouts. I mean, it's that, that easy. Let's see, we can use something like that. Just put your picture in there. Okay, now that's maybe like that. Put it there. Something like that, okay? It's standing out. It's better than a normal picture because you have some fancy elements here and you can make it even more fancy. But that will do it. That will do the job for sure, guys. I don't want to make this video too long just uh, to show you what it's possible. And I mean, you need 
good pictures when it comes to social media or pictures which are better than the normal one. I mean, I could use this picture as well. It's good looking, but when you have something like those elements in there, it's even nicer and it will stand out, okay? Just go to the site canva.com and if you need free pictures, go to Pixabay and you can download the, pic uh, the pictures over there. And then, yeah, just try out some, some uh, different designs for whatever you want to need it, like Facebook posts, blog graphic, uh, Instagram, Tumblr, whatever it is, you can get it over there. Guys, that's it for today. A little uh, quick tutorial. I don't know how quick it was. But I guess, oh, it's not that quick. Um, but yeah, I hope you got something out of it. If so, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos and have a look underneath the videos, the link to my newest ebook where I teach you uh, online marketing from A to Z. Now guys, that's it. I hope you're gonna have a good night. It's already uh, midnight here. And yeah, that's it. Have a good one. Bye, guys.